Hey gang, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, I said we were going to move on to and then explore different kind of helper reactions to kind of grow our toolbox to gear, to gear up for doing some synthesis problems. Well, actually, before we do that, I want to go over a little topic called directing groups. And I think it's better that we kind of go over the information this way, in this kind of order. Okay, so all of the reactions we've done so far, we've had nothing on a benzene ring, right? Well, that's not always going to be the case. So I want to kind of show you guys how having groups on, on a benzene ring before you use one of the reactions we've learned, you know, where, how does that affect it, you know? If I have, let's just say, an O, a methoxy group right here, right? If I'm going to chlorinate Cl2, AlCl3, right, where is this chlorine going to go? There's, we have a few different options. So just to highlight some positions on a benzene ring, if you were to put something in either of the carbon, on either of the carbons I've dotted right here, next door to a pre-existing group, these right here are called the ortho position, right? And all ortho means is that if you have something on a benzene ring and then you add a group next door to it, those two groups are ortho to each other. It's, it's a relationship between pairs. Or it's a pair relationship. At the same time, I'm going to kind of erase these arrows to make a little space. At the same time, let's just say I put, because these are equivalent positions, right? It doesn't matter if I'm going one position to the right or one position to the left. However, if I put some, if, if I, sorry, I can't talk. If I were to put the chlorine on these asterisk positions, what, how, like, is there a word that we can use to refer to that? Well, if ortho is a one-two pair relationship, then this asterisk position would be a one-three relationship, right? That is what we call the meta position. That is a position meta to this methoxy group, right? And finally, if I was to put something on this carbon that I've drawn a little, little tiny box around, you know, this is a one, two, three, four relationship, a one, four relationship. The group I would be adding would be para to the methoxy group. So to kind of quickly summarize that, if you have a group and then you add another group and there's a one, two relationship between them, that's said to be ortho. If it's one, three, that's said to be meta. And if it's one, four, that is said to be para. Okay, so how do we know where a group goes? How do we know if it's going to go ortho? How do we know if it's going to go meta? How do we know if it's going to go para? And believe it or not, if we kind of throw it back to what we talked about uh, in the diels alder reaction involving electron donating groups and electron withdrawing groups, we have different types of directing groups. We have things called ortho para directors or just straight up meta directors. But let me erase some of this. Really, we need to draw two types of resonance. I'm going to say a little final, like final comments and this video will be over. Okay, gang. So, right here I've drawn you the structure of methoxybenzene. And I told you guys we were going to be drawing some resonance. Well, I couldn't find my resonance hat. So, it's almost Christmas, almost holiday season, so I thought I'd put on a Santa hat instead. Okay. So, how do we know, again, we're trying to tackle, how do we figure out what type of group, what type of directing group, uh, certain pre-existing things attached to benzene rings, how do we know what they are? Well, all through resonance. Always fall back on resonance. Okay, so if we were going to kind of think of this in a deals alder state of mind, right, directly attached to this benzene ring, I have an electronegative atom with electrons to give, right, with electrons to pump into our aromatic system. So I'm going to categorize this methoxy group as an electron donating group. That's something we know how to do already. Well, let's draw some resonance, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to show us what type of directing group he is. So, I'm going to swing these electrons down into the system, kind of. We're going to pump the electrons down, and that means I'm going to take this bond and kick him up as a lone pair, right? So I'm going to draw my arrow that way. So if I draw the result of that electron flow, I have an OCH3 right there. The oxygen has a positive charge, and my lone pair ends up on this carbon. He's negative now, and I haven't touched these double bonds at all. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's kind of go around the ring. I'm going to make these double bond or these elect this electron pair into a double bond, and then I'm going to kick this double bond up as a lone pair onto the bottom carbon. 
draw my resonance arrows, draw my benzene ring, didn't touch the methoxy group up top, still has the double bond and the positive charge. I now have a double bond here. I haven't touched this double bond over there. And now the lone pair is chilling down on the bottom carbon. Okay, let's draw resonance one more time. If I were to take this lone pair and make him into a, a double bond going this way, then I have to kick this double bond up as a lone pair onto this carbon. Okay, didn't touch the OCH3 up top, right? This double bond stays put. I now make a double bond going this way, and I have a lone pair on that carbon right there. Okay, and believe it or not, this has answered our question, what type of directing group this methoxy group is. So remember, we're doing electrophilic aromatic substitution. We're adding positive things that, loves negative, that love negative charge to benzene. Things like Br+, NO2+, right? Those things that are positive. Well, look at the resonance. Do you see that we've produced negative charges on three positions on the benzene ring? We've produced a negative charge on this carbon. Actually, let me redraw a benzene ring. OCH3. We've produced a negative charge on this carbon, right? He has a little delta minus. The bottom carbon right here, he has a delta minus. This carbon up here, he has a delta minus. And let's kind of see what kind of uh, positions they are relative to this methoxy group. Well, this is a 1-2 relationship. This is a 1-2 relationship. And this is a 1-2-3-4 relationship. So you can see that electron donating groups, they pump electrons into the system. And as a result, every time, doesn't matter if it's a methoxy group or something different, we're going to have these negative charge on the ortho, para, ortho positions. So if you have an electron donating group, you can automatically say that this is an ortho para director. So if I were to take this methoxy benzene and I were to introduce it to some Cl2 and AlCl3, we would get a mixture of products where the chlorine would end up on the 1-2 position and the 1-4 position, right? These positions are equivalent. Okay, so now that we've seen what electron donating groups can do, I'm going to show you what happens with electron withdrawing groups. Okay, now that we've kind of explored electron donating groups and discovered that they are ortho para directors due to the negative charges that occur through the resonance, let's look at electron withdrawing groups. And again, just like we saw with the methoxy group, that goes for all electron donating groups. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm, kind of, I'm going to draw the expanded version of this nitro group. We're going to need it to, for our resonance. So the expanded, whoops, the expanded version of this nitro group looks like this. It's overall neutral, and that's because this oxygen has a negative charge, and this, or sorry, the nitrogen has a positive charge, and the oxygen has a negative charge. Okay, so remember how we identify electron withdrawing groups. When we talked about diels older, we said, look directly off of your system and look at that atom attached to the system. If it's partially positive and it has no electrons to donate, then he's withdrawing electrons out of the system, right? Electrons are going out of the benzene ring to that nitrogen. All right, well, we have a classic electron withdrawing group right here. So let me redraw the structure over here. We'll draw our resonance and we'll see if it, we get any insight to what kind of director electron withdrawing groups are. Okay, so here's kind of weird resonance. And I think if you were with me for joke in OCHEM 1 with JoChem, I think I had you guys draw this resonance, so a little foreshadowing. So if we took this electron pair and I swing it out of the ring, right, because this group is withdrawing electrons, if I swing it out of the ring, I need to bend and bounce these electrons up onto oxygen, otherwise we'll break the octet rule. So, I will draw my double-headed arrows, and this is our first resonance form, right? I have a double bond here, my nitrogen is there, I now have an O- over to the right, and an O- still over to the left, and nitrogen is still positive, and I didn't touch these double bonds over here, so this is the carbon that it misses out, and he is the, uh, a carbocation. 
Okay, so let's draw another resonance form. And here's what I'll do. I'll take the double bond next door, swing him to make a double bond right here, and that'll leave this guy as a carbocation. We'll just shift the carbocation a few spots. Carbocation there, double bond here, double bond there, didn't touch him. And the nitro group up top stays the same. Minus is on both oxygens plus on that nitrogen. Okay, one more time. Let's swing a double bond, draw the last resonance form. All right, so if we swung this double bond down, that's gonna shift this carbocation up to here. And then, believe it or not, we have an answer as to what type of donate or uh, directing group we have on our hands. Okay, so nitro, whoops, nitro group stayed the same, our oxygen stayed the same, that double bond is there, we move the double bond up there, carbocation goes there. Okay, so remember, in these reactions, we're adding things like Br+, plus, Cl+, plus, N, double O, plus. Positive things to a negative benzene ring. Well, you can see as a result of this withdrawing group and through the resonance, if I'm gonna draw another ben or benzene ring, the resonance with this nitro group, we have induced uh, po partial positive charges at this position, this position, and this position, right? There's a delta plus there. There's a delta plus there, and delta plus there. And you can see that this is the ortho position, para position, and the other ortho position. So let me ask you this. If the, if the nitro group, or just a withdrawn group in general, induces positive charges in the ortho and para uh, positions, do you think these positively charged electrophiles want to go to those positions? Hell no. They want to go to the positions that aren't positively charged at all. They may not be negative, and that might not be a strong interaction like we saw with the ortho para directors, but at least if these uh, electrophiles go to the meta positions, at least there's no repulsion going on, right? So we can see that electron withdrawn groups, they are meta directors. So let me erase all of this, and I want to just go give you, throw up a couple of different directing groups, and we're going to identify them together. Are they electron donating, aka ortho para? Or are they electron withdrawing, a.k.a. meta-directing? One sec. Okay, gang. So let's just rip through these uh, directing groups, identify them as ortho-para or meta-directors, and then we'll call it a day. Okie doke. So, let's look at this first one right here. We have a nitrile group right here. So, let's kind of see what he is. So if I'm going to expand this CN, right, we have the ring, and what he looks like is a carbon triple bonded to a nitrogen. So remember, the name of the game is look directly off your ring, right? And it looks like this carbon has a big fat delta plus on him, right? He certainly doesn't have any electrons to throw into the benzene ring. So I would say he's an electron withdrawing group. And that's kind of like, you know, in quotes, that means he is a meta director. Awesome. Okay. So now let's look at this chlorinated benzene. Well, directly off the ring, we just have this chlorine with electrons, he can easily pump them into the system. So I'm going to say he's an EDG, and he would also be an ortho para director. Okay. So here's a little here's a little kind of trickery-ish thing I threw in, but not this is just something you kind of need to know. So straight off of the benzene ring, right? We don't have any delta plus atoms going on. We just have this carbon and he doesn't have any electrons to throw into the benzene ring. Well, if you kind of throw it back to the idea of hyperconjugation, because there's free rotation about these bonds right here, just kind of have just kind of try to understand that through hyperconjugation, through the fleeting kind of pi bond mimicking alignment of these orbitals and these CH bonds right here, alkyl groups lend electron density to the ring. They are EDGs and as a result, they are ortho para directors. Just know that they lend electron density to the ring. Okay, so two more. So we have this uh, ester right here, right? We have this O-methyl and then the carbonyl. So directly off of the benzene ring, right? This carbon 
has a delta plus on him. He's going to withdraw electrons from the ring. He's an electron withdrawing group. And as a result, he is a meta director. Okay, last one. So again, we have this ester. And you can see instead of the carbonyl carbon attached to the ring this time, we have the oxygen. And this changes the game because he's an electronegative atom. He has electrons to give to the ring. So he can absolutely swing those in, pump electron density into the ring. That's an electron donating group. And as a result, he would be an ortho para director. Okay, so I have a worksheet for you guys. It totally has you identify ortho para directors, meta directors, EDGs, EWGs. But in the next video, I'm going to talk about some helper reactions. I think you might need to know them before the worksheet. So let's get to that video and then go attack that worksheet.